Everybody takes Uber and Lyft these days. I feel sorry for cab drivers. I bet they're trying to trick people. <laughs> like, no, it's Uber, yeah. It's Uber. Like, why is your car yellow? Fucking, don't worry about it. Just get in. Everybody takes Uber and Lyft because it's slightly cheaper than a cab. But what you save in money, you pay for in conversation with the driver. <laughs> right? Nothing is free. You'll be halfway through your trip and be like, you know, I guess I never really did get over my parents' divorce. <laughs> you, you can let me out here. I have a lot of thinking to do. <laughs> Crazy thing is like people will talk to their Lyft driver all day, like up and down, they'll talk to them. But if your cab driver was like, what do you do for work? You'd be like, enough with the chit chat, Ahmed. <laughs> Trying to get some work done. It's a double standard, talk to Ahmed. He's had an interesting life. You might learn a thing or two. You know, he'd be like, you know, we were able to escape into Pakistan. I evaded gunfire. I lived in a ditch for six months. <laughs> Surviving on beetles, <laughs> you know? That's like some Bear grill shit. You're like, oh, I had no idea, oh, man, that's crazy. It's like, yeah, I cannot, beetles, they freak me out now. I cannot eat any more beetles. I, uh, I get it, man, I get it. You talk to your Lyft driver, he's like, then the band had creative differences. That sounds really difficult, Chad. It was. Because Dylan wanted to go solo, and he was the heart of the band. <laughs> Did you ever think that one day your cab drivers would just be random people with free time on their hands? <laughs> Never. How do you not know that one day your house won't be on fire, and some 21-year-old kid with a smartphone will show up like, Hey, what's up? I'm your firefighter? <laughs> I was the closest one to the blaze. <laughs> Don't worry, stand back. I brought a super soaker. Everything's under control. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of pressure. This is good. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, the fire's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> oh fuck, it's Dylan. The band's getting back together. <laughs> Sweet. Good luck with the fire, bro. The problem, the biggest problem I think with Uber and Lyft is that it's made getting into random cars so commonplace, right? You'll get into a truck, you'll get into an SUV, you'll get into a smart car. When you got into a cab, you knew you were getting into a cab. Like, people don't even really look for the mustache anymore. Like, I could take my car tonight, and just go to a bar at 2 a.m., just be like, hey, somebody get an Uber? <laughs> Some drunk guy would be like, hey, I'll catch you guys later, it's here. Yeah, take me. But I can just drive to the woods and murder this guy. He would just be in his phone the whole time. Wait, this isn't West Hollywood. <laughs> 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 